In section 8.1, we take a look at the basics of a hypothesis test. Now for this particular problem, we're going to go over the first three steps for conducting a formal hypothesis test. Now for this problem, it's telling us the claim, a minor minority of adults would erase all of their personal information online if they could. A software firm survey of 605 randomly selected adults showed that 38% of them would erase all of their personal information online if they could. Complete parts A through B, A and B below. So if part A, express the original claim in symbolic form. Let the parameter represent the adults that would erase their personal information. So in this particular problem, we're conducting a hypothesis test on the population proportion. So now the original claim is saying a minority of adults would erase all of their personal information online if they could. Well, if we write that in symbolic form, since we're dealing with population proportion, we're going to have P. And since it says minority, minority means less than half. So we're going to go ahead, click on the less than symbol. And then half, we're going to put in decimal form, which is 0 0.5. Now, if it said majority of adults, that, mean that, that means that P would be greater than 0 0.5. But since it says minority, minority means less than half. Now for part B, we have to identify the null and alternative hypothesis. So when we're conducting a hypothesis test, the first step is to write the original claim in symbolic form, which we already did in part A. P is less than 0 0.5. This is the original claim. Step two is to write what would be true if the original claim was false. Well, if P was not less than 0 0.5, that would mean that P would have to be greater than or equal to 0 0.5. Now, step three, this is when we identify the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is denoted H sub zero, and the null hypothesis always includes equals, just the equals to symbol. So here we'd have P is equal to 0 0.5. Then the alternative hypothesis we take a look at steps one and two. The alternative hypothesis would be the one that does not include the equal to symbol. So if we take a look here at step two, since it says P is greater than or equal to 0 0.5, that includes an equal symbol. So our alternative, alternative hypothesis would be the original claim itself, what we wrote down for step one. So the alternative hypothesis here would be that P is less than 0 0.5. So now let's go ahead and type in our answer into the homework. So the null hypothesis, we have P, remember always includes equals. So it's always just gonna be the just regular equal to symbol. We have 0 0.5 here. And then the alternative hypothesis was the original claim itself, P is less than 0 0.5.